crazy Jeff Bezos 165 million mansion. The world's second richest man, Jeff Bezos, just purchased a 165 million dollar mansion known as the Warner Estate in Beverly Hills. The Amazon CEO's latest real estate venture sets a new record for the most amount of money ever paid for a home in California. Still, for someone whose net worth is 131 billion, the price tag is only a fraction of his e-commerce fortune. Bezos bought his new home from producer David Geffen, who purchased the estate for 47.5 million US dollars in 1990. The house, which was built as a Spanish colonial revival, was converted into a Georgian mansion during the Great Depression by movie mogul Jack Warner. Bezos' new home, though, is in a league of its own. After purchasing the property in 1990, Gavin did an extensive remodel. The grounds include a pool, golf course and guest house, and it was one of the area's few big land parcels that escaped being subdivided. It would be impossible for any developer to acquire and build a home on nine acres of usable land in the area today. With its 13,000 square foot mansion in the Georgian style with Greek portico, the estate was featured in a 1992 article in Architectural Digest and described the archetypal studio mogul's estate. Warner had hired Rolando Cote to enlarge and remodel the existing Spanish style mansion and William Haynes for the interior decorating. Florence Joch designed the grounds. Also, the estate has a pool, a tennis court, and a nine-hole golf course. The house is featured in the 2008 book, The Legendary Estates of Beverly Hills by Jeffrey Highland, who wrote, No studio residence, before or since, has ever surpassed in size, grandeur, or sheer glamour the Jack Warner estate on Angelo Drive in Van Dyck Canyon. When Jeff Bezos purchased a Hollywood estate from David Geffen for $165 million, he got nine acres of prime Los Angeles real estate, an enormous 1936 Georgian-style mansion, and a whole lot of backstory. The home, which adds to Bezos' portfolio as the country's 25th largest landowner, was built in the 1930s by Jack Warner, the head of Warner Brothers Studios, who lived there until his death in 1978. Like so many other studio moguls' houses, this estate was the symbol of Warner's hard-won success. The sons of a Polish immigrant shopkeeper, Jack, Harry, Albert and Sam Warner, entered the movie business when they purchased a Nickelodeon in Newcastle, Pennsylvania in 1904. Jack Warner entertained the audience during intermission inside the mansion. According to Jack Warner Jr., his father purchased the land after the success of the first Talkie, 1927's The Jazz Singer. He built this oppressive Spanish house, what we used to call the Spanish clanker, but a gorgeous one, he told Stein. The studio did the interior design. They must have had a lot of old Spanish furniture they wanted to get rid of. Ugly and uncomfortable. For Mr. Bezos, the Warner estate was designed in the 1930s for Jack Warner the Warner Brothers film studio president. The roughly 13,000 square foot home is considered one of the premier mansions built during Hollywood's golden era. It wasn't the first home Warner built on the nine acre property. When he married his second wife, Anne, she demanded that he tear down the first home and replace it with a new one, according to The Legendary Estates of Beverly Hills by Jeffrey Highland, a longtime luxury real estate agent in Los Angeles. Warner spent over a decade building the mansion and didn't give it a fancy name to emulate European aristocracy, unlike other movie moguls of the era. He named it after himself. The Georgian Revival style estate was designed for hosting the Warner's elaborate parties with guests like Albert Einstein and Howard Hughes. It has its golf course. The estate also features a tennis court on its grounds, which is not uncommon for properties in Beverly Hills but the fact that it also boasts a golf course is much less par for the course. Additionally, the house has an entertainment room with a standard sized theatre screen and projector. Bezos got a discount. The Warner Estate never officially hit the market, but one of the people familiar with the deal said it had been shopped around quietly for $225 million. The Warner Estate, whose sale to Mr. Bezos was reported earlier by the Wall Street Journal, turns out from the speculatively built glass box homes that have flooded the local market. Listed in the 100 million plus range, have often taken years to sell or acquired steep price cuts. 
Everybody today would like to see classical architecture, Mr. Highland said. They want substance. They want acreage. He said he and his business partner, Rick Hilton, had the most expensive current listing in the area, the 225 million Conrad Hilton Estate, which is on eight and a half acres in Bel Air. Stephen Shapiro, an agent with the Westside Estate Agency in Beverly Hills, said that the Bezos purchase was likely to boost confidence in the market, but that too many homes were still being built on speculation. The spec houses being built are equivalent to too many condos being built in New York, he said. The houses fetching record prices are one of a kind, bespoke houses. Other properties of Jeff, it's not his only purchase in the 90210 zip code. In 2007, he shelled out 24.5 million for a Spanish style estate on two acres in Beverly Hills. A decade later, he bought a 1950s house right next to it for $2.9 million. Bezos also owns homes in Seattle, Texas, and Washington, D.C. Last year, he reportedly dropped about 80 million on a trio of adjoining apartments in New York City. The 2019 <laughs> land report, which identifies the country's 100 largest landowners, ranked him 25th. For Geffen, it's the most high profile sale on record, but over the years, the movie and music mogul has bought and sold prized properties at the same rate that people change their oil. One of his biggest splashes came in 2017 when he sold his Malibu compound on Carbon Beach for $85 million. The property had been an ongoing issue for the 76-year-old, who fought with the California Coastal Commission to block people from accessing the beach near the home. At one point, he even installed fake garage doors to discourage drivers from parking on the curb out front. A few months later, he unloaded another home in the beach community for a relatively modest $8 million. The following year, he made a move on the East Coast, selling his Manhattan apartment for $24.5 million. He switched into buy mode in 2019, picking up Beverly Hills mid-century for $4.65 million and an empty acre nearby for $30 million. Many assume Geffen has big plans in store for the undeveloped land. Found in the ultra-exclusive enclave of Billionaire's Row, it came with blueprints for a 24,500 square foot mansion with 7 bedrooms, 14 bathrooms and a 140 foot swimming pool. It's surrounded by some of the most valuable homes in the area, including Minecraft creator Marcus Persons' 70 million spec mansion and businessman Evan Metropoulos' 65 million trophy home. The $165 million sale marks the fifth time since 2016 that a new LA County prize record has been set. The record once belonged to Hugh Hefner's Playboy Mansion, which traded hands for $100 million four years ago. The record held until 2018, when Hard Rock Cafe co-founder Peter Morton sold his oceanfront Malibu compound to natural gas billionaire Michael S. Smith for $110 million. Found on Billionaire's Beach, the prized two-parcel property includes two contemporary homes with 100 beach frontage feet. The year after, the record fell once more when Peter Ecclestone, daughter of Formula One billionaire Bernie Ecclestone, sold the manor in Homely Hills for 119.75 million. The sale broke the record not only for LA County, but also for all of California. Bigger than even the White House at 57,500 square feet, the W-shaped chateau was built in 1991 for late producer Aaron Spelling and his widow, Candy Spelling. Among its 123 rooms are 14 bedrooms, 17 bathrooms, a barbershop, bowling alley, nightclub and French wine and cheese room with sidewalk cafe style tables and chairs. A few months later, a new mark was set in Bel Air when Murdoch, son of media mogul Rupert Murdoch, dropped the aforementioned 150 million on Chartwell, otherwise known as the Beverly Hillbillies Mansion. Here we've talked about everything you need to know about the world's richest billionaire properties, mainly the new one worth over 165 million US dollars. Which mansion sounds most appealing to you? Did we miss any? Let us know your opinions in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave us a like, subscribe and turn on post notifications. We will see you in the next video. Bye.